Ladies and gentlemen, it's a very special day today. It's the 200th episode of Two Dumb Babies. I'm I'm Will Simon. <laughs> I'm Eric Friedman. You pointed to me. I was like, I don't know what you want me to. Yeah, it is. It's two hundred <laughs> episode. 200, we still haven't figured out how intros work. <laughs> two hundred episodes for all one hundred listeners. <laughs> you each individually get an episode. You can NFT it right now. Yeah, and that's, that's your our episode. Gift to you. <laughs> um, but no, we hit we hit two hundred. Uh, we really appreciate the support over yeah. all these years. Um, also, I'm not even 100% sure this isn't 205. Our our episodes got numbered so weird at one point because of the cartoons and then the secret podcast and then this. And like, yeah. I tried to renumber them at one point. And for a while, we've been heading towards this number at whatever the count started at. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, in that case, guys, it's a very special episode. It's our 204th episode, <laughs> potentially. But yeah, it's been, it's been a long, it's been a journey. We've gone from animated... To Eric's apartment, to a studio. We're Zoom for a little bit. We We're did on those. Zoom. Yeah, there's been a lot of iterations of this, and uh, we truly love all of you and appreciate uh, you being here for everything. Yeah, and now thanks to Mark and Petty Cash Studios, we're in like a nice studio. Happy 200. Thank you all for being here, and uh, hope you guys enjoy the episode. You can't tell me it's too expensive. You can only tell me that it's a stupid idea. Too dumb, baby. <laughs> I love good NASA slander, man. That's fucking my favorite. With Willie Simon and Eric Free. <laughs> All right. And that's it. Let's go. <laughs> it's just that. And the little that's it. Let's get the fuck conversation thing. <laughs> that was the weirdest 200th. <laughs> hey, Mark, how's my hair? <laughs> okay, I didn't do it. I'm kidding. Dude, you, <laughs> <laughs> you look like a divorced, like 50 year old man right now. It's I'm like, about to move to Thailand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's going to Thailand to find himself. I got a pretty sick spot. <laughs> you know, rent's only like $50 a month in Thailand. <laughs> it could be a king out here. And like, you retired. You're a millionaire. <laughs> you got a good job. <laughs> Goes longer way out here, though. <laughs> My dad's friend just did that. Really? Yeah. Moved to Thailand? He moved to Thailand. He, my dad has like all his shit in the garage right now. And he's like, what's all this like cool like memorabilia? And he's like, it's fucking bullshit, man. It's, like, <laughs> it's all Paul's bullshit, dude. He's fucking, he moved to Thailand to go fuck hookers for the last 20 years of his life. He's like, he's pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> Wait, he's done it for the last 20 years or he's doing it for what's going to be the, the last 20, 20 years. years of his life? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like fucking... <laughs> that could go either way at retirement. Well, and that's like the kind of, like, this I know, like, that was my dad's best friend because he's like, he's got all this stuff. Because he's still watching the stuff, yeah. <laughs> he's like, for when you inevitably get shanked by a triad gang or <laughs> some shit, I get to give this to your kids. What's something you wanted to be when you were growing up? Like, what's the first thing you remember wanting? Some people have, like, a real answer and it's like, oh, that's what you truly wanted. And some, it's just so yeah far out there. Like, the first thing I remember wanting to be was a Ninja Turtle. That's the first thing, like, oh, wow. where I, like, actively wanted to be a Ninja Turtle and, like, thought that... Like, if you work really might hard... Might be a thing yeah. I could be. If you meet the right people, <laughs> yeah. you can be a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> I meet the, I, I'm like, I have to find the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. That's the only way. You gotta in. move to New York. Uh, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't just think anyone could make me a Ninja Turtle. I was yeah. like, I need the Ninja Turtles to make me yeah. an honorary Yeah, there's no... Ninja you're not turtle. going to, like, Oklahoma City yeah. to be, like, a Ninja alligator or whatever the fuck right and i don't even think it was like i gotta find the ooze to mutate or anything because that you know uh, i don't think that's what it was i was like i gotta be i just gotta be me so like you're cool enough with the ninja turtles (laughs) i guess like casey jones or something or like one of their (laughs) other (laughs) other sidekicks there is funny like it's like being a screenwriter you're like i gotta move to la First. Yeah, there's only one place yeah. I can really. <laughs> I gotta meet. It's all about who you know. You know, yeah. it's, uh... <laughs> it's a lot of the same delusions you need in the beginning. At yeah, least. gotta hang out at some karate studios. Yeah, some pizza parlors. Yeah, there are some You'll things them. you can get good at karate. You can like pizza. Yeah, I was half the way there as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> what would have been your weapon if you were gonna be? Ninja Turtle. Oh man, see Leonardo okay. was my like favorite, so I was like swords. I liked swords, but I can't He's just take his. Yeah. I know. Or do I have to? Do you have to usurp one of the Ninja Turtles? <laughs> yeah, you gotta kill one. They, they never had others coming in, so I'm like, maybe I have to take the place once one becomes too old. 
yeah. and retires. Or you kill to him and you become Leonardo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um That's funny. I mean, they had so many of the weapons. I don't know. What's another like They only had four of them. Those were That's not all of them. There's gotta be more. That was a lot of them though. What am I gonna have like a mace or something? Like you can have like one like katana instead of two, you know, that's kinda cool. That's just like just a worse No, it's a longer you have more control. Oh, I have a longer one? Okay, yeah. yeah. Like a pitchfork. <laughs> you could do that, sure. Why not? I'm like a devil. <laughs> like what's that one uh I like it's tape. like a it's like a long it's like a long staff, and there's like a big blade at the oh, end of it. Blade? You ever seen those? Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of, of sword like, but. Yeah, it's like a bow staff Sta- or some yeah, shit. Yeah, bow staff. Yeah. That would be cool. I would like that weapon. Okay. I would enjoy that one. Yeah. Yeah, no, my dreams were much more realistic. I wanted to be like a football player. So, like, not really now that I'm older. <laughs> but, like, when I was a kid, but I'm yeah. like, I know there's a waste but of weight. You knew to other do this. football players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's a. I know for sure I could do this. Like if I go to college and I get really good, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, you know, neither of our dreams panned out. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> Honestly, probably both just as close. I don't, yeah. I, don't, I was going to say, I don't know who's closer. <laughs> I almost moved to New York. <laughs> I could go buy a bow staff or a weapon. Yeah. You can get good karate. I've right had now. swords and other weapons. I haven't played football in years. Yeah. It's been like 10 years. I was doing karate last night. <laughs> Actually, I ate pizza today, so I guess that's the closest. <laughs> yeah, you got a bunch of rats at your house? Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like that. Uh, they're, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really wanted to be a football player. I was like, I could fucking... I bet I can get good enough. How young did that start? That you're like, I'm going to be a football player. Pretty young. I was like eight. Okay. And then I, uh, and then I met fully grown Tongans. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> what do I have? To, do, I am I, I can, able to get that I don't big? I think I could be a football player. <laughs> You're like, Ma, I need more milk. <laughs> Lots more milk. Well, it was like one of those, like, you know, like, you know that the people you're playing against aren't even the highest level of yeah. this. And you're already getting whooped. Like, it was like around high school when I was like, I don't think I'm going to the fucking league, dude. I don't even think I'm going to college. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to do drugs and skip college. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I started playing like more music and shit. And so I was like, oh, I don't need. And then I was into music and then in, from music into comedy, right? Yeah. So you never had like a real job. And no, I was see, like a waiter. That's a thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you never had like a, yeah, own a business or a like, even a like be a lawyer or be, um, I don't know, an investor. Like there's no, yeah, no, no was office-y never... or normal job or anything in there. Yeah. Yeah, not at all. Yeah. It was either... Star athlete or, or fucking bust. bunch of other <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. bullshit. Or yeah. star or something, something else. Something else, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe I just want people to like me. Oh, God. Is that what this is? <laughs> no, I don't know if that's... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I guess that could be football. Your parents watch football and like football players? Yeah. Yeah, we watched it together a lot. And so yeah. That was really, so that was the thing. And it was like... Yeah, and even like music-wise, I'd watch like old like like uh, concerts with my dad and shit. Mm. I could watch like the Eagles live. Yeah. And I was like, I don't really like, I don't think I want to be like Joe Walsh, but, <laughs> but this is cool. But wouldn't be bad. <laughs> yeah, you know? wouldn't be bad at all, dude. <laughs> you guys fucking had a life. <laughs> a lot of worse people you could be than Joe Walsh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like once I stopped, uh, once I stopped wanting to play football, it was like all my idols were alcoholics. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, this I can do. Like, this oh, looks no. more attainable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> as long as I practice enough during the day, I can drink all night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe like an architect. I think I want to be an architect at one point. Yeah, it's kind of real. Yeah. But then I did like trigonometry. I was like, oh my God, this is what <laughs> architecture <Yeah>. is? <laughs> Triangles sucks. are hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or no, geometry was the one. Yeah. I can't remember. Trig would be, I think, after that. Yeah. I remember trig was easy. Geometry was like, I don't fucking get this at all. Really? Yeah. You get like measuring shapes. Well, like triangles, <laughs> everyone's like, triangles are very simple creatures. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. They're so like, like squares and circles. And no, that's where you're fucking wrong, dude. <laughs> that's what you'd think. Because triangles, they all kind of relate to each other well. You know what I mean? Like if, yeah. you, if one side you can like figure out the other two. Right, right. But like a circle could be like whatever you want it to be. It's just fucking... 
You see, I wasn't very good at this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can't even describe why you were bad. I mean, you yeah. did describe, I guess, <laughs> why you were bad at it. <laughs> Circles are fucking great. No, actually, you can figure out a circle <laughs> pretty easy. I don't know, dude. But, yeah. Dude, designing buildings, I, I like that for a little bit, too. I don't know why. I don't know why that's ever a thing, because it's no, well, no I feel thought like there about used it now. to be, like, Doesn't cool architects. Fun. I feel like at one point, though, like in like in like the 50s. Frank Lloyd Wright? Yeah, that guy. I like some other ones. Can you name another architect? I couldn't name Frank, Frank Lloyd Wright. <laughs> <laughs> you said there, that. <laughs> there, is cool, there is cool architecture that was made by someone who was probably a famous architect, but we don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't well, know. Like, he, he, like, there's like a lot of buildings out in L.A. where it's like, you know, this was made by some famous architect in like the fifties or sixties. Yeah. Like, there's no like new famous architects that I've heard about that are like really. I mean, I'm sure they are, but yeah, like, yeah. well, because now it's like, know, like you used to hear about it. Now it's like, like make things cheap and whatnot. It's like yeah, make it like cool. inexpensive and yeah. fucking easy to put up as possible. We've just got whoever designed prisons and airplanes designing like homes and stuff now. Yeah, You're like you, indi- <laughs> you you design entire neighborhoods now yeah. instead of like. One house on like a hill. Yeah, well, that's like city planning. Yeah, that was the whole thing. What uh, what George Costanza wanted to be on Seinfeld. That's funny. City planner. <laughs> <laughs> so that'd be a fun job to show up drunk to. You know, episode two hundred. We got this far. We uh, we should do a clip show. This episode. <laughs> we could. Let's do our favorite two dumb babies bits. But live to each other right now. You go first. Oh man, what's your favorite bit of ours? One of the ones that I I love that I can think of real quick is the uh, American Ninja Warrior or the just Ninja Warrior. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, remember that one? And then we'll play it. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll that sounds it. good. <laughs> <laughs> we can play that one like a Simpsons clip show. <laughs> just like that time we were American Ninja Warriors. Huh? And then fucking, uh... Yeah. You know about the Diddy thing? No. There was some affidavit for like a court thing, like mm. a like a suit against uh, Diddy. And uh, they were like, they named these rappers who were like, hey, this one rapper whose name will not be disclosed. And then they put little asterisks and it went down and it was like, rapper from Philadelphia who used to date Nicki Minaj. And you're like, oh, it's Meek Mill. Like, you know, I know who that is. There's no point in redacting yeah, the yeah. names if you're going to give like a little here's, riddle at the bottom. Here's their hit song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like known, a, for, <laughs> known for the hit song. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, what? A little, like a Jeopardy question. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not what the redacted thing is for. <laughs> I like lawyer Jeopardy. This is a court yeah. case Jeopardy. <laughs> like this man brought crack into America in the 80s yeah. to fund Iran-Contra. <laughs> Name is redacted. Was president in 1990. <laughs> you're like, oh, it's Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Bush? Yeah. Who is Bush? Yes. Do I have to answer yes. as a question? <laughs> That'd be fun if they gave us all the like U.S. secrets and stuff. They're like, we can't tell you. Yeah. But if you can figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a little, little hints. <laughs> I like hints. I guess that's what these rabbit holes are that people are going down and whatnot. They're, yeah, right. That's the fucking They're same grabbing thing. these little breadcrumbs of information that are real and then... Just doing whatever the hell they want with it. <laughs> yeah. Just make it a game, you know? Yeah. Be like, we lost the files at Redacted. And it's like, Hillary Clinton had a scandal here. And, <laughs> and like, oh, Benghazi, Benghazi. Benghazi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know that one. Ooh. <laughs> me, pick me, pick me. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a fun way Sweet. to declassify. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> make it like Mad Libs. <laughs> We could do. That'd be a fun. That's a fun segment we should do. Yeah. Is redacted Mad Libs. Rede- yeah. We get like a, we get like a, you know, some classified document and be like, all right, I need a verb. <laughs> <laughs> I, need a, I need a noun. Yeah. <laughs> a city in Asia. That would be good. <laughs> <laughs> but, and, then, and then we'll see how much of the story we got right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually gonna write that down. That's what I'm for once, <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> Are there any? We need a um, a conspiracy theory game show. A conspiracy What's, game show. I mean, like, you could, like what? You could do it. I guess. <laughs> what about what about Family Feud as a cons- uh, with conspiracy theories? Though that'd be fun. All right. So we asked a hundred conspiracy theorists. <laughs> That's funny, who they yeah. think lives in Middle Earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who lives in the center of the Earth? Number one, it's always Jews is number one. 
no matter what. <laughs> Every, Every single time. one. God, yeah. it's always June. That doesn't, that doesn't make sense here. <laughs> <laughs> Going for the steal. Was it the Jews? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Show me yeah. lizard people. Who really landed on the moon? Yeah. Moon fake. And then no one? Yeah. Them? yeah. No one's number two? <laughs> if it wasn't the Jews, this is a simulation. <laughs> yeah. Only one of the two things can be true. <laughs> They've covered both bases. That's what I love. That's my favorite thing is like... <laughs> Either there's all these conspiracy things that like could be true and would make the world just wild. And then also it's like, or nothing's real and it doesn't matter anyways. And who cares? Yeah. <laughs> well, now it's like, I watched that octopus murders thing on Netflix. You see that? Mm -mm. Where it's like this, it's this pretty crazy documentary about this guy who like kind of follows his breadcrumbs down to where like. You know, it gets down to, like, where the CIA is spying on its, like, allies mm -hmm. and, like, it's all these, like, crazy conspiracies for, like, the 80s and, like, the 90s. It'd be like, oh, can you believe it? Like, what if America was spying on its people? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <gasps> Everyone's like, this <laughs> yeah, would be yeah. the biggest scandal in history. <laughs> Everything that's revealed is like, yeah, they do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah, they did that. <laughs> yeah, we know we were funding Iran Contras with, mm -hmm. by ruining yeah, black yeah. neighborhoods. We know that. <laughs> that. <laughs> like, all the conspiracies don't even, like... They're not exciting anymore. They're just fucking... Yeah. They're just like, no, that was true. Or, yeah, that or, was true. Yeah. There are papers on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> like, none of it was shocking in the end. <laughs> like, yeah. It was, it was so disappointing. I was hoping for a new one. When they revealed, like, America spying on its citizens, I was like, turn this shit off. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, nothing, if you get, like, a real series or documentary on it, it's all going to be past stuff like whatever yeah There's nothing nothing good comes from those yeah so there was one i think they were like they were like making weapons on a, like an indian reservation mm -hmm. and you're like all right that's just kind of a new one but yeah. like not enough for me like you know? making guns not enough. and stuff or like making ammunition like one of these like private like blackwater companies is making ammunition okay. on this native american reservation with the help of the cia and, and then you're like yeah yeah sure yeah what right. Are, yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> what's that? What's that change? Yeah. I'm so desensitized by my government being evil. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like you hear anything like, less than like. Not even top ten worst things I've heard about him today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <It's exactly>. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know how to care about that. I'm like on the other side. Like I'm fucking like so desensitized to the evil. I'm like, yeah, well, you got to test weapons somewhere. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Need open planes. It is sovereign that? land. It's sovereign. <laughs> the rules are different there. Yeah. <laughs> Gambling's legal, so is explosions. I think fireworks. You know, yeah. these are big yeah, fireworks. Got fireworks, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, just if we know they're evil, the conspiracies aren't fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's part of the problem. Everyone's like, "Look what they're doing!" And like, they're doing so much in broad daylight that we can see it completely. Yeah. You don't even have to dig. It's like, sure, whatever the stuff over here is is also bad and worse and whatnot we're like but this stuff also absolutely horrible and we just watch it every day <laughs> yeah right well it was like i think it mattered then like in the 90s and 80s people were like the cia is good and they help america yeah still now like that's not i've never heard anyone say that in my entire life yeah <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> it just it, it just uh it just matters who you it depends on who you define as America. <laughs> yeah. If it's the elite, wealthy, powerful people, and that's that's the that's America. Yeah. And, and you ignore the rest, <laughs> then yeah, they the do help. Rips. They do help America. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your idea on how to fix things? What's what's the snap of the finger fix? <laughs> um, we build the wall. Yeah, we should just we build, finish that wall. We should just build lots of walls. <laughs> I say just more wall, wherever. Just, yeah, you know, we should be like the Great Wall of China. Yeah, but like in America, like you know how it kind of just wraps like it's like through China. Have you ever seen the Great Wall of China? Um, I mean, in person, or like you see the border of it? Oh yeah, yeah. Just like splits China in half. Yeah, they totally messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I they didn't even get it right. I don't think they had a firm understanding of uh, like lines. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like they have the same they have the borders same borders and... now, probably. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see the Great Wall of China? It's like, man, they totally missed the mark. <laughs> they cut the country in half. <laughs> but there's the whole conspiracy that that was built by like the other side or whatever because it's it looks like it's more to fight china or something i don't know 
Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Really? There's whole, yeah, there's like a million. Is that a conspiracy or is that a theory? Is there a difference now? <laughs> <laughs> All honesty, is there? It's like, I feel like those are, some words are becoming interchangeable. Any ideas? Yeah. <laughs> is this an idea that kind of sounds ridiculous, but who knows, maybe? <laughs> You're like, I think if we split this atom, we could create a chain reaction that would be a bomb of some kind. You're like, this fucking conspiracy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, it's not what that. <laughs> the Epstein Island chef, I found out is a is a barbecue chef. Isn't that funny? Like, was well, always like on, a barbecue chef, or is a barbecue Island, chef the, now? I think he is now, but I'm pretty sure he was always a barbecue. Like the private chef, yeah, was doing barbecue, Just, which is like. It's a heavy meal. Uh, it's a heavy food, right? It's a heavy meal it's to have heavy sex me- on. After- <laughs> That's how you know they didn't feel bad about what they were doing. <laughs> yeah. Like you'd get done f- like doing something terrible for, like for your soul. Yeah. You had the and itis. You eat, and you eat like beef ribs after that. Like, what are you doing, dude? That's some fucking I'm all thinking about them eating it before. They have like the itis. You're like so tired. No, you do it after. You're like, I guess. Let's I no, guess you got, all you gotta do it after. <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna have any energy if you do it before. Yeah, but yeah, like that's like, what's more indulgent than like fucking a sixteen year old than eating a rib with your hands? <laughs> <laughs> you're like you're the worst guy ever. Not even a salad. <laughs> not like a fucking like <laughs> something to like lighten it up a little bit in your body. You're like yeah. no, nah, dude, I'm fucking. That's more egregious that's, than that's actually how they caught Prince Andrew. They're like this. This girl had barbecue sauce all over her neck. <laughs> <laughs> Like we think, we think you did it. <laughs> what? Why would I do it? His mouth so fucking covered in barbecue sauce. I have never touched <laughs> yeah. inappropriately. Oh, uh, that's not fair. They didn't give me any of those hand wipes yet. Uh... <laughs> Isn't the chef out here now? Doesn't he have like a truck or something? Yeah, he does like private thing. We almost went the other day. Did you? Yeah. I want to try it. I am curious. <laughs> what if that's just, I mean, if the food's really, really good, then do we accept some people being like, I was just there for the barbecue? <laughs> is that, yeah. Is that allowed it at some point? Yeah. You're like, you know, have you had the, the burnt ends? Yeah. <laughs> Cause we do kind of treat it like the, we, we've treated the island like the Thai situation of like, if someone's going to Thailand, we're like, I know what you're going to go do. Yeah, you totally. Know? Where it's like, hey, there's other stuff. Yeah, maybe there's other things on there. <laughs> there's I, at least barbecue. <laughs> I go for the surf. Yeah. And the barbecue. Yeah, is there a good surf? Do we know? <laughs> there were those, there were a couple guys I saw. I don't know if it's Dr. Video or whatever, but the, it looked like there were a couple guys who made it onto the island. Oh, really? Yeah, and took video and stuff. Yeah. I but, believe that. You can just probably go there. Yeah. I don't think I like Yeah, I'm sure people shit. can find it. I know. It's, it's got to be deserted at this point, right? Yeah, now. It's just one guy making barbecue yeah. for nobody. <laughs> just, they, they never they never <laughs> took me up. <laughs> Why don't they come in? <laughs> That'd be a good pop-up. Yeah. We're doing the Epstein Island pop-up. Oh, no! <laughs> like, no, just the barbecue. Oh, just okay. the barbecue. <laughs> it's not a full experience. Yeah, yeah. I love how they do the tiny waters. Like, that's going to be the end of the world. Is when we started bringing water into, like, these little... Like, just killing a whale for, like, fucking this much water. Yeah, we're like, plastic's <laughs> bad. What if we yeah. made so what much we, more of it? What if we just it? fucking, yeah. <laughs> just little, like, five-hour energy shots of water. Yeah. <laughs> just chucking just them into seals. One squirt in your face. <laughs> yeah. And then you just, like, toss that into a landfill. <laughs> I was always pissed when i get those tiny waters at, like, like a soccer game when I was a kid. Give you ever tiny have, waters? You ever get those? Or like know. the tiny Gatorades where you're like, great job, everyone. <laughs> Here's the snacks at the end of the game. Oh, and you yeah. get like a little Gatorade and you're like, who's fucking broke ass mom had fucking yeah, snack duty? Orange slice. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for the orange and little lime Gatorade. Yeah. You broke bitch. <laughs> you dumb bitch. Orange slices were cool. I didn't like when a, a parent tried to bring like a healthy snack. You're like, oranges are at least good after the game. Bring oranges or bring like some actual candy or something. Like a Rice Krispie treat? But they'd be, yeah. That was a shit. After yeah, or like a Snickers game. or something or Twix or whatever. Bring Yeah, Twix bring candy. after soccer games? I mean, I don't think so, but I don't, I honestly don't remember what people brought other than the orange slices. I guess you get orange granola slices, carrots. Bar, granola bars were big. Yeah, carrots? Granola? Yeah, some people bring that carrots. That person's an asshole. Well, That's look. the most unrefreshing. 
Capri Sun, Sun yeah, yeah, that's a good drink. Those were good. At the end. Yeah. But like, I don't know. The uh, Yeah, Capri Suns were great. Kudos. I forgot about those things. Kudos were those chocolate-covered granola bars. Yeah, with like the M&Ms on them. Yeah, the, those were good. They Those things got stopped getting made, huh? They stopped making a what? lot of that shit from the 90s. How... How cancerous does something have to be before we stop making it? Was that? <laughs> no, it's probably not cancerous enough. And that's why. Yeah, it was healthy. Oh. Oh, so yeah. They just went out bars. of business. Those chewy bars were killer, too, though. Yeah. The chewy, yeah, those are still going. Yeah. I don't no. know. What would you bring? If I, had to, if I had a kid now playing soccer, I don't know. I'd like, I'd get bigger drinks for the better kids. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, I'd here you go. Motivate. You need this. You worked hard. You did so good today. You here's a big red Gatorade. You kicked the ball and in the he, wrong little way. Little yellows for the rest of you <laughs> fucking losers. Nice try out the way to fucking turn over city over here. Huh? <laughs> Just letting them have it. These three people carried the team. <laughs> I mean, that was how it always was in ASO and whatnot. There was like, there was like three people who carried the team for yeah, the most part. Totally. Everyone and else get the didn't same need snacks. to be there. Yeah. They get the same fucking snacks as everyone else. That was like, you know, if we're going to get like, I'm okay with everyone getting a trophy, but not everyone should get big Gatorade. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Not everyone <laughs> needs it. You all can have a trophy, but you know who's king. Yeah, yeah. It's the kid you, with the Gatorade and the Snickers bar. That's that's for sure a classism <laughs> system yeah. thing. That's well, it's like it's like real soccer. We're, we're all part of the same team, but these people get more of the resources. Well, that's the thing too. Yeah, <laughs> that's a fucking other thing though. Like participation trophies. What's like a fucking Super Bowl ring? Yeah. If not a participation trophy for like the third string quarterback, yeah, yeah, who didn't even warm up today, <laughs> yeah, yeah. he gets a fucking ring. You get a charm. Fuck you dude. get a charm necklace. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> enjoy your little. Fu- yeah, you get a you get a mood ring, <laughs> and it's green right now. <laughs> <laughs> which which is for scared, scared to <laughs> yeah. scared to get in there and win a gonna, game. Yeah, because you're gonna lose your job probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you know, it's like salary. That's how soccer works and at the highest levels, yeah. you know? The get really good the most, guys get right. like fifty million dollars and the guys who suck get like three. Yeah. And you'll still get the same trophy and jersey as the rest of your team. And you can say you played with that really good player. Yeah. And our kids are like sitting around, they're like, Can you believe Marcus is getting big Gatorades and I'm <laughs> <laughs> We're all getting stuck with the yellow little ones? Well, he's Mutiny. putting up a lot of numbers. <laughs> ah, shut up. <laughs> the little kid mutinies on yeah. the team. Like, you don't have to play just stop playing yeah he's demand i demand a trade <laughs> i i'm taking my talents to south beach <laughs> i think that's i think that's right yeah i think that'd be the right thing to do yeah because then you know Motor- if you're doing better you're like right. hey you got a little hey here's a little fucking oh, twix good. nice yeah, game way to go. <laughs> keep I it got- up I got it's this it's a small Gatorade, but it's the red one. I yeah, got a, I got a small red. Gatorade. <laughs> yeah, I got. I, move, I got, a, I got promoted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the game. I'm. In, they're watching me. They're noticing me. <laughs> I'm gonna try harder. Well, because like you gotta buy stuff for the whole team. That puts that's a lot on the parent. Yeah, buying the snacks. You know what I mean? Yeah. To be fair, the parents of the kids that suck. They're probably pushing them to be in the sport, right? It's more the parents' fault. When some you, of them, some of them. Yeah, I knew some, some kids who just loved it. Really? And they and sucked? sucked ass. Yeah. I never understood that. They're just about it. I'm like, what? I was like, okay, at, at soccer and stuff, and I kind of liked being there. I tried. Yeah. And whatnot. No one was forcing me to play. Yeah. I could stop and did once I wanted to. I feel that there was a lot more kids who didn't want to play football. When I was a kid. Yeah. That makes sense. Because you know? football. Cause you just get hit. crushed. Yeah. By some fucking kid who's like, he's like, you know, he hit puberty early. Yeah. And he's just fucking concussing your little <laughs> 10 year old body. You're yeah. Like, soccer, basketball. Be here at all, dude. <laughs> soccer, basketball, baseball, any of those. If you don't really want to be there, you can kind of stay out of the way. Yeah. Baseball, you're just going to not hit the ball and. Yeah, go just, back. Just play outfield. Dude. Outfield, yeah. You, you can kind of just not do much. Yeah. Football, chances are someone's going to hit you still at some yeah. point. <laughs> well, you're like, the, they put the worst kids on like the D-line. Yeah. And that's like the highest impact position. You're getting guaranteed smacked in the face every play. Really? Yeah, because you're they're like just, on the line. You're yeah. fucking going up against them, you know? So, so you're just, like, it's like it's not like a, they're not running at you, but. Right. You know, it's 
death by a thousand cuts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're whoever we put on the front line in military. We're like, you're not the best. Yeah, yeah. But you're going to take but some of the impact away from this. the important people behind you. Hold this and aim it that way. <laughs> <laughs> hold this and <laughs> That's like that's like a fucking nine year old with a helmet. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you learn in boot just camp? Fucking, just fucking hold this at. and aim it that way. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, I don't think they I think we're gonna be here very long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it scares me too. They didn't give us a helmet this time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Said it didn't matter. When I did this younger, they at least gave me a helmet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew a kid. He took the ASVAB. There was two kids in my class who like I remember them th- taking the ASVAB scores. And one kid, he, like, tested into, like, the nuclear, like, studies program. Like, he was going to work on, like, a submarine. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I don't want to do that. And he just stayed in Hawaii and, like, sold drugs. And there was (laughs) another kid who the only thing he tested into was grunt, which I thought was really (laughs) funny. (laughs) Because they're like, it's like, the military has, like, every job in the world. Yeah. (laughs) They need everything. And the only thing he could do is hold this and aim it that way. (laughs) (laughs) That sucks, man. That's, they're like, we're going to pay for college for you after this if you make it. Yeah. It also probably won't matter. They're you're, like, uh, we're not paying for your college. You, yeah. <laughs> they're like, no, we're not doing that. You can DeVry at best. You can you, yeah. you learn to be an HVAC uh, repairman. You're going to be a mural. <laughs> your name's going to be on one of those walls with a lot of names one day. Yeah. <laughs> How cool That's, is that, huh? <laughs> I just remember I was like, man, you can be like a nuclear engineer. That's like... They got everything. Yeah. And then you find out kid didn't test into any job <laughs> at all. <laughs> like, call it something nicer than grunt, too. Just like, yeah, grunt was a pretty good thing. <laughs> like, hey. I mean, yeah, but hey. Yeah. This pawn wouldn't be better. And that's, and that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cannon fodder. Disposable? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guy who yells help when if the enemy shows up. <laughs> yeah. The Paul Revere, you know? Maybe, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that guy. He didn't do anything. What a loser Paul Revere was. Yeah, they uh, ran help, away. Help! Oh, they're no, chasing help, me. They're coming. What a bitch. <laughs> yeah, did he fight afterwards? <laughs> don't you do something? You doubt it. I don't think, I don't think we know. He him kept for running that. for four years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he ran all the way out west. <laughs> I visited his house. Yeah, Paul Revere's house. They kept it. That's yeah. Cool. Anyone live there? It's just a museum thingy. Yeah, it's a museum. I bet someone lived in it. I bet someone lived into it like up until like 1960 or some shit. Yeah. Like I doubt it's like I bet they recently were like, holy shit, it's still fucking here. Yeah, we should probably <laughs> yeah, yeah. this should probably be a little fucking hold on to this thing. <laughs> People should just start squatting in those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, squat in the Paul Revere house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have squatters' rights at the Paul Revere house. That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Help the housing department is coming. Yeah. <laughs> My mail isn't coming. <laughs> um Yeah. Any dates? Check out at Eric J. Friedman or EricJFriedman.com. I'm on the road with Craig Conan. Shows are going fast, so grab tickets. Uh they're selling out right now. Fuck yeah, dude. Fucking Craig's crushing. You're moving yeah. tickets, dude. Yeah. Craig's moving tickets. I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've moved a few, but not, yeah, that's good, that's fun. <laughs> not quite as many. But the shows are going to be really good, and I will be there. Where am I? Detroit, D.C., New York City, Bakersfield. <laughs> <laughs> go uh, go Netflix check. Netflix is a joke fest. Yeah, Netflix is a joke fest out. also in May, um, all around L.A., Go to williesimon.com, or no, not williesimon.com. Go to my Instagram, um, because that website is defunct, and I gotta link it. <laughs> I gotta link it to a different thing. But yeah, uh, <laughs> but yeah, just go to uh, go to my Instagram at williesimon underscore for all the dates, and yeah, check it out. It's gonna be good. Yeah. Um, happy two hundred. We hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll see you next week. Yeah. Bye.